day two of our little adventure and we couldn't wait to get back out on the flat. Flat out calm. Looking for bow wakes. How's your morning going, Fred? I think it's absolutely stunning. <laughs> I'm fishing with such nice people. <laughs> Having waited looking for bow wave, we decided to move, and we found a GT sitting behind a rock. Fred managed to get a cast into it and make him come out. As he charged out, he must have lost sight of the fly, swirled around a bit, and then headed back. We're into a bonefish. Really, really big bonefish off the bottom of this flat. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's awesome. I love that run. Bone. Well, it's not a small one. Most who come to Providence are always focused on GTs, but there is some excellent bone fishing to be had too. God, I've forgotten how strong they are. Come here, fishy. There's one right in front of you. Beautiful. That was cool. There she goes. Cruising around the area were not only big bonefish, but a few GTs hunting in the shallows. Fred and I had hooked up at the same time, and his bonefish was bigger than my GT. Beautiful. It's a little, it's a little nurse shark. Having had a great time on the end of the sand flats, Wes decided that we would cross the lagoon and head over to the skinny flats which were just beginning to push water. Almost as soon as we'd started wading, I'd spotted a fish hanging on the top of a ray in the shallow water and he hammered my two-tone brush fly. He's right here. He's right here. Just past here. He did, didn't he? That was... Still... Still trying to follow the ray. Look, he's still trying to eat, follow the ray. Um, what are you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got this. Even while fighting the fish, I could still see other tails popping up in the pockets around me, whether it be GTs or triggers. This was going to be fun. Beautiful colour. Yes, yo. We had that. Look at the colours on him. 
Sweet, look at that baby. <gasps> Woohoo! <laughs> There's a big GT tailing down here. His tail, you see his tail? Two fish tailing. The only problem with hunting fish in very skinny water like this is they get quite shy. Oh, he's booked off the ray. No way. We'll go for the other one. It's a very fine line between landing a fly too close to a fish that it spooks or not close enough that it doesn't see it. Just sitting there. Okay, calm down. Here we go. Moving right. Didn't see it. No way! It never ceases to amaze me that such large fish will move into such shallow water. Oh, suck! Oh! Adios, amigo. So, we've got two big yellow margin trigger fishes tailing in this here spot here. So, we're going to try and catch one. Although, generally speaking, my record with the other margins is not great. Maybe this time will be different. Who knows? Very happy fish. really would have been happier with a little breeze on the water at this point. Didn't see that. Yeah, well, the first one's spooked. Let's see where the second one is. If he's still there and didn't get spooked by the other one. Damn you, yellow margin trigger fish. Where are you? You're in the hole. Spook per se. No, I'm not happy though. Oh, there he goes. Damn you, yellow margin trigger fish. We hates it. We hates it forever. A little further along, Wesley spotted an excellent yellow margin tailing and took Andrew up to investigate, and we made Fred push the boat. A little later, Andrew hooked and landed his first Titan trigger fish. Damn, that's going! A little further, I had made a cast at a bow wave and hooked something that I actually couldn't identify. Oh, he's off! Whatever it was, was very strong and had other ideas. He's off. I think that was a very big bone. The end of a stunning day. Every day is different on Providence. Today we had fished in some skinny water and found some big tailing fish, which have been very exciting. <laughs>